Hi there guys and welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I have filmed anything for this channel so I do apologise but I'm back doing something I've never done before. So I'm old, you probably know that. I came across something that reminded me of my childhood <laughs> the other week and I'm, I'm low-key obsessed and I've held back from just diving straight in because I really want to <laughs> film them because I think they're hilarious. I'm, I'm probably the last person of the game but these apps, episodes and choices a tried episode, so rude. Like, I blushed, I couldn't do it. Um, but I started playing Choices, and it reminds me of the choice books I used to play as a kid, and they're just hilarious. So I wanted to play along with you with an episode or two and see what we all thought, so. They're just hilarious, and this is one I've, I have got my eye on, America's Most Eligible. Battle out in a reality TV show. I'm, I'm here for this. I'm very excited. <gasps> the allies with your housemate to get there. But oh my gosh, it's like Big Brother. I'm, I'm here for it. I'm so excited. I've no idea. I've not played this one at all whatsoever. So America's Most Eligible Book 1 is what we're going to play now. It's just downloading. Hold, please. Three hours later. Aha! We're in. Tutorial. Welcome to America's Most Eligible. Let's choose your look. I want to play as a female. I always choose female. Oh, I like her. Okay, I'm happy with her now. I don't need to change her. She's got cute hair. I like her outfit. I'm happy with the outfit. I'm gonna... Oh, it's... I knew it. It would be gems. It's a really good one as well. Rose gold. Okay, we like you. Silky smooth, medium straight. I'm here for it. I like it. Nuts, but needs pick an outfit. Did I not do that already? I do not like that outfit. Me. Classic. Bold and green. Selected. Okay. What do you think? This look is perfect. I want to change my gender. <laughs> Who looks at an outfit and goes, I don't know if I'm presenting myself as the right gender. You're cisgender, my friend. Jamie, we're going to be Jamie. Oh, you've unlocked a closet. You can change outfits. Different outfits can affect the story in different ways. Be sure to wear something for the... This, this is pressure I was not expecting. Okay. What's happening now? Ooh, pretty house. Looks like you've got to leak there, love. That is not like a waterfall. Tap. We can do that. Nice. Oh, that's a... Mine's a Sims house. Oh, this is bad news. No, it's not. It's like it was closed. You and hundreds of fans, excited and excited fans, anxiously wait in line for the season's premiere of America's Most Eligible to begin filming. You grin at the stranger standing next to you. I can't believe we get... Why were the emphasis on the we? We get into the live studio audience for the first episode. Right? This is like a dream come true for a super fan. Oh, fan, you look like you should be a comic con. Fan, they don't even get names. I'm going to guess that they're not heavy in the plot here. I don't know about you two, but I'm here to get on TV, so stay out of my way. Ooh, sassy. She's got big dreams. The woman waves her arms and shouts at the security guard. This is sassy here. Hey, hey, you, where are all the cameras? Oh, she's got an accent. I wasn't ready for an accent. Y'all are missing out on a star out right here. I sound like the trees for our from Drag Race. I apologise. Security. Silent dots. Fan. He needs a name. I feel like he's not going to get one. What about you? Why are you here? You're about to encounter your first choice. Really want to say I was here for Comic Con. Drama, drama and more drama. I know I'm seeing the audience for now, but a little bit of luck. That'll be me on camera someday. And I live for the clapbacks. I can't wait to get on the show and call people with nasty names. Jamie! I was beginning to think her and I were spirit, in loving spirits, and now... No, I'm not so sure. Oh, and I can't wait to watch you do it. I oh got Look, it's Carson Stewart. Should we know who he was? She points to a well-groomed man. As he emerges from... Oh, he is very well-groomed. Hello, yes, it's me. I'm an agent host of America's Most Eligible. 
with a small bicycle in my pocket. That's not what he says. <laughs> Follow me to embark on the adventure of a lifetime. I feel like a jaunty walk would have happened then. For sure. The crowd cheers as the host leads the line towards the front of the mansion. Carson, over here! I was okay, I didn't mean to give the voice. I was born to be on camera. Do these need do I need accents? Should I accent? And I'm your biggest fan, and I'm standing next to them, and I'm pretty sure you should be in line for Xena Warrior Princess, my friend. The host stops in front of the main door and turns to address the crowd. What was his voice? I want to welcome you all to the lovely Miami Beach House setting of season 10 of America's Most Eligible. Here, 11 contestants will battle it out all summer to prove their most eligible date in America. I can't wait. He doesn't look like he's so excited. The cast will complete in 60 challenges. What's a 60 challenge? I'm with your pants off. Cook eggs in a bucket. I don't know. Go on exciting dates and vote each other out of the house one by one. The last person standing will win the grand prize of five hundred thousand dollars and a romantic trip for two. I know he's really handsome. I just feel like he needs a bad voice. He's too perfect otherwise. Carson pauses. The fans erupt in cheers. Talk about happily ever after. America's most eligible is a very special title, just one that we don't hand out to just anyone. Our past winners have gone to be authors, social media influencers, even entrepreneurs. You too could be even more than better social media. You could be a business person. Is that better than in social? <laughs> Why is he implying that's like a third runner up after being good at social media? <laughs> <laughs> But most of all, they've learned what it truly means to love and be loved. Inner self-love, that's what counts. Absolutely. It's what reality TV brings. Carson throws his arms out towards you benevolently. And what better prize is... Oh, I forgot his voice. Hand. <clears throat> and what better prize is there than... Enter new, enter new character. Carson, why aren't you responding to the radio? Is he, is he, is, oh, I'm confused now. A woman pokes her head out the side door and glares at him. But they said you wanted me to entertain the audience. Well, I changed my mind. Get your ass in Zad. I think she's quite stern. Well, I guess that's the end of his speech, said Jamie. And just then, the people around you start to... I'm very confused. Am I Jamie? Am I... Should you say me instead of Jamie? I told you I was old. Look, they're bringing out the contestant, said me, an unfriendly girl. Contestant. Dot contestant they're not a very chatty he looks like wally from the flash <laughs> she had an awesome smile oh wow me that first guy is hot he was F fan i'll accept that why is she does it like she's in a waitressing uniform with a bad suntan as well can anybody else see that i hope i can make it to the finale so i can draw oh, he can make it the finale do all over more me. So what do you want to be in the show? I'm very confused. He kind of minds from Roger from last season. Don't you agree? Oh, I didn't catch last season. Other promotional posters. Besides, you consider each contestant's filing towards the beach house. We're considering. Who do you think is the cure test? Well, they think number one. So I think I'm going to go for Wally from The Flash. Contestant in green. Kid Flash. I think the contestant in the green suit is cuter. Also, outfit matching. Twilling. You smile and wave at him. He catches your eye and he points finger guns at you. That does not... Pew, pew. Does he do a hand... Like, that doesn't sound like, really polite. Is that like a... Oh, like a... Oh, right, okay. I was thinking like, hi, let, we've met. Let's assassinate you. Pew, pew. That sounded mean. Oh, dot, dot, dot. You sigh wistfully. As the contestants, I sigh wistfully when someone handgun gestures me as well. That I'm not dead. <laughs> I wish I could be one of them. Suddenly, the door flies open again and one of the contestants rushes back out. She looks very cross. That's it, I quit. Producer, Whitney, come back, we can fix this. And a frazzled producer. She's empathetic, empathic I'm sure. Chases after the contestant, the crown line starts jeering at them. Looks like someone couldn't take the heat. Mean Girl needs a name. But the heat hasn't been turned on yet. I bet she's just doing it to get more screen time. Whitney, please, this is the producer. I'll be fired if you leave now. 
I don't care. I'm not spending one more second in this stupid house. She hasn't even started. Her commitment to reality TV career is really not solid, is it, my friends? You watch as the producer follows the contestant around the corner. Forlorn face. She looks so sad. She really does. Unable to sit back and watch you jump out of line and chase the producer. Wait, where are you going? Well, apparently she's going to get escorted off site set by uh, security, but I think that might not happen. Fan with the waitressing uniform. I have to help her. What? Why indeed? That's because, ooh, everyone can use a friend. I'm going to say it and she doesn't mean it. She says it in her head. She, she says the second thing in her head. You wait until the security guard is distracted and then you make a dash around the corner. You find the producer trying to comfort the contestant who refuses to even look at her back to that. Maybe she's sad about the hole in the wall, man. Here, drink some water from the hole in the wall. It'll help you. We've got a gap. We haven't got a plumber here today. No, I'm not going to let everyone push me around like the gym. She only offered you water, Whitney. Why be so stressy, man? Jeebs. Hey. Ooh. Again, we're going to say one what we're thinking too. <laughs> me? No one ever asked about me. I heard what you said earlier about being fired. Ah, uh, good play. She's going for the producer. She's smart. And you believed her? Ha! Don't you know producers will say anything to get what they want? It's a true story. And who are you anyway? She is frowny. That girl needs to chin up. My name's Jamie and for the record, I think Jen's telling the truth. Really, love? Really, Jamie? Whitney huffs, but Jen smiles gratefully at you. Look, Whitney, I know the confessional questions aren't ideal, but I have to ask the kind of stuff we need to get the footage, something like footage. I still don't know how my personal life is relevant. Darling, does anyone else feel like no one's explained reality TV to her? <laughs> Jen has. But it's reality TV. Jen, you and I... We are on the same wavelength, her and I. That's the only thing that's relevant. True story. And then we're going to end this here. We know, the, we know the moral. It counts. Jen throws you a desperate glance as you take a step forward. Oh, is she going to punch it? No, she's not. Fail. Whitney, you have the chance to be, to be part of something special and amazing. It's the 10th season. It's really not that special and amazing, babes. <laughs> and okay, admittedly, it might be a little trashy. But that's the fun of it. If you quit now, you always wonder what happened. And if you made friends or enemies or found love. I'm not going to say she's going to. On the last step. That's true. Again, Whitney, I don't think you've seen reality TV. But most important of all, reality TV is a reflection of who you are. A reflection of society. Now, I've been on reality TV. And it is not a reflection of you. So I'm going with society. I was on one once. It wasn't me at all. Ha! Ah, different story. There's a reason we sit around the TV every week to watch our favourite reality shows. It's becoming... Oh, she's all about the language. Oh, Alexa's on it today. Inextricable part of our collective history. It exposes people to a way of life they've never seen. And then it and then humanises it. Reality TV. This is a very powerful speech, Jamie. Reality TV changes the way we interact with each other and you get to be a part of it. All you have to do is say yes. Didn't, on, didn't she want the space? Why is she now talking her into it? Well, yes, I'll do it. Well done, Jamie. Back to the queue. You great buffoon. That's the spirit. What's the purpose of this? Jen locks eyes and whispers. Thank you. That was. Well, we're never going to find out. But if I'm going to come back, things have been different. Dude, things haven't even started yet. Come back. Ha! The three of you turn to see the showrunner looming over you. She tosses a bag at Whitney's feet. Piper, what are you doing? Your job, apparently, Whitney, you're cut. I don't ever want to see you on my set ever again. <gasps> what? Ha ha ha! I don't like her, and I'm all for girl power, but she was not pleasant, man. Piper's really turned away from her, and after a moment, Whitney leaves. Jen, you better find me a replacement girl next door in the next five minutes or I will fire you. She was girl next... Shut up. She was wannabe. I okay. Piper turns her piercing gaze on you. Who are you? She had a voice there, didn't she? Oh, I'm not very good at this. I'm... Ooh. 
Jamie, the next contestant in America's Eligible, or the fiercest woman you've ever met. I just, okay. Let's be super arrogant right now. Do it. Piper arched an eyebrow and then darts her eyes. Seriously, Jen, you can't just pull a random person off the street. We're trying to craft stories here. Exactly. It's a very serious conversation. Jamie can be our Cinderella story of the season. Literally, literally, actually used in the right phrase. Plucked. She wasn't literally plucked. She wasn't literally plucked, was she? She literally walked to you. From our students, complete us all summer long. Plus, she's totally got that girl next door thing going. Piper, you should have heard the speech you just gave. I'm telling you, Jamie has what it takes. Piper gives you a once over. I'm not convinced. Maybe this will convince you. That is some choices. Kiss Jen, rip off your clothes, or throw a drink in Piper's face. I don't want to pick any of those. Um, she's going to do the girl next door. None of these are... Okay, we're going to throw a drink in Piper's face. You grab a water bottle from Jen's hands, open the lid. What the? Now picture that with a martini right in the middle of a, in the perfectly made up face, your season's biggest villain. Oh, she's clever. I'm telling you, it'll be ratings gold. If you ever do that again, I'll make you wish you were dead. I'm... She's got lady balls. Jen, get a set up. Who knew? To go on reality TV, you just have to throw a drink in someone's face. Yes, ma'am. Ma are, are we military reality TV? As Piper marches, clearly we are. Back inside, you turn to Jen. Days, you did not get the water chucked in your face, my friend. Uh, what just happened? I'm fairly sure you gave me a limited range of options, neither which were can place into your character. Jen's not entirely sure, but thank you, thank you, thank you. You definitely just saved my job. Happy to help. And also, I'm on a TV so so booyah. You turn to face the mansion, taking a moment. Congratulations, Jamie. You're on America's Most Eligible. Ooh, dramatic credit music. Scene, ooh, cast. Jaunty, we like it. Chapter one. Who has what it takes? Jen ushers you away from the waiting line in front of the mansion. Welcome to the most eligible beach house. This is going to be your home for those 10 weeks. Did she bring enough pants? Is that, that's where my brain went. Wow. Please say she's thinking about the pants. No time for that. Pants, Jen. She has no pants. No, everyone else will be here. Make them 6, 6 a.m. We've got to get going. Wow. That's a nice house. I could build that on The Sims. Jen rushes you inside, then spots a points at a spot under the staircase. Stand there while I get your paperwork and don't move. Jen disappears into the flow of activity all around you. You gaze in awe at the sprawling manner as a cameraman, producers and PAs hurry by you. What did I get myself into? Uh, dude, you've been telling me for 10 minutes you waited on this. Voice, watch out. You turn your head to the same light fixture falling directly towards you. Some choices are timed. Oh, God, I'm not under this pressure. Make a decision before the timer runs out. Uh, jump out of the way. Yes. You quickly jump out of the way, bumping into someone. Strong arms hold you steady. Whoa. Crash. The light fixture just stands just where you were standing. Oh, that was a close one. Nice reflex, it is said, bodiless voice. And you look up at the person. He's going to be handsome, isn't he? I think it's going to be green to say, boy. Oh, if it's the other one, I'll be cross. You look at the person and you find a handsome man smiling. Oh, oh no, we can pick. Okay, not what I was expecting. I like him. Selected, we made a choice. Gotta watch your step when you're on set. You never know what's gonna happen. This sounds sinister. Thanks for the tip. I'm Jamie, by the way, but you can call me the girl next door. I think your new girlfriend's a little bit... <laughs> it's nice to meet you, I'm... Adam, I'm, I'm not that invested in your reality, my friend. Adam, I'm just going to go with the names they gave me. So, are you part of the crew? Something like that. He's not, then is he? <gasps> Adam looks around the foyer. He seems oddly familiar. Have we met you before? Have we met? Have we met before? I could swear I've seen you somewhere. I doubt it. I definitely would have remembered you. Smooth. Adam crosses his arms and smiles at you. So, you're the new girl next door. 
what's that look for? said Jamie. Nothing. It's just I wouldn't have paid you for the type of person who signs up to have a TV show. Wait, whoa, 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 we've just met. We've just met. Sure, you've got the charisma and curiosity for it. How did he deduce she's charismatic and cu curious? She literally didn't. She avoided dying. But you seem way too genuine for this fact because she nearly died. Adam. Adam trails off, lost in thought. I want to feel like that's a Joey from Friends moment, the sniff of the father. That's how I picture that. After a minute, he looks back at you. Sorry, I didn't mean that the way it sounded. <laughs> what, mysterious and completely disconnected from the reality? Well, it sort of sounded like a compliment. Did it, though? And Adam chuckles. They are made for each other. Then I guess I did mean it the way it sounded. So I'm too genuine, huh? Seems like you've got the inside scoop on this place. Got any tits for surviving my first reality TV show that I've had absolutely no, no rehearsals for, no mental health checks to check to see I'm safe. What makes you think I have tips? Call it a hunch. Come on, Adam. Don't make me make you. For me, the girl who you've apparently pegged and got her entire personality down, you just met her. Um, you bat your eyelash and your best puppy dog look. Dogs aren't known for their best eyelashes. That's a really weird double analogy. But he gives in. It's okay. You grin triumphantly and Adam shakes his head with a smile. That look of yours is deadly, Jamie. Here's tip, hashtag number one. Go to the beach whenever you can. Just because it's really good for your complexion, no other reason. Really? Have you seen the beaches around here? But seriously, take breaks. Living in the house and being on camera all the time is overwhelming. I've seen contestants crash and burn before the first night is over. What were they doing? This is not PG TV. This sounds like it's a specialist channel. Adam leans an arm against the wall, bringing his body close to yours. Stepping out for a breath of fair share is a must, in fact. If you want, we could sneak to the beach right now. Take a break before the craziness starts. Oh, I don't know. Jen's be right back with my contract. You've not signed anything yet, love. You just stood in a big house. Trust me, she'll be over half an hour at least. I'll get you back in time. Good. I have so many questions about this man. You can stand here waiting for her or sneak out with me and I'll share a few tips if you want. That does sound tempting. Some choices cost diamonds, access exclusive scenes. You close your eyes, picturing the two of you on the beach. Ooh. We're going to sneak off the beach. We're going, we're going in. You grin up at Adam. Let's go. Maybe he'll give me more tips like go outside. Adam leads you out of the house and down toward the beach. What about security? Aren't they watching the set? They're too busy doing the live audience. They won't even see us. <laughs> hey, you two, where are you going? Or not. Run! Sprint away, trip and fall. I think we have to run. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Run, run, run. You and Adam, run away. You can screw it together as fast as you can. This guy is quick. He's not like a bounty hunter, why is he? But we're quicker, come on. What is he going to do when he catches them? I said stop! Just be really firm. Through here, we'll be safe just past these trees. The two of you duck behind a grove of palm trees. Is that the name for a palm? Grove, who knew? We should be in the clear. You wait as the security guard bumbles past your hiding spot. Where did they go? You can feel your heart pounding in your chest and you're acutely aware of how close Adam's body is to yours. Eventually, you hear the security guard head back because he thought you vanished. It's like, oh, no, they tend to a palm tree. You breathe a sigh of relief and grin at Adam. You didn't tell me our trip would include a cardio workout. They say exercise is a good way to clear your head. Or running away from a stranger chasing you. That's also optimal. Consider my head cleared then. You turn to take in your surroundings. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, my words exactly. You can say that again. Wow. You turn to find Adam tossing his shirt aside and basking in the warm sun. You smile as he takes in the peace expression on his face. I guess I wasn't the only one who needed a break. Definitely not. You're at work. Be, don't be so unprofessional. 
take a few steps down the beach, try and decide how to best enjoy your break. They brought sun cream? Where did I miss the point? They brought a bag of beachwear. They jump in the water. That doesn't sound like a stupid thing to do at all. You run into the ocean, kicking off your shoes as you go, woo! I think that's all just, woo. What noise is that? Maybe you saw a ghost. Ooh, it could be a cold noise. That is soon super interpretive. Hey, wait for me. I can't. She's been chased by a ghost, Adam. You throw your arms up. Woo! Oh, it's like a roller coaster woo, maybe. As you hit the waves, enjoying the warmth of the sun in your face, the wind in your hair and your sand between your toes. Adam grounds you around the waist and spins you back to him. You're almost impossible to catch. That's what the security cut said. But you love the chase and you know it. Steady. That's remarkably accurate. Maybe even a little too accurate, given that we've just met. What can I say? I'm good at reading people. In that case, tip number two. Don't tell the others that. If you don't downplay your skills, if you downplay your skills in front of the almost immediate threat. Also, tip number two. Um, Jamie, don't go to the beach with complete strangers who take their top off and grab you. That's not, that's not safe. Julie noted. She's talking to me. Adam looks at the smile and I wanted the word creepy to be there and it wasn't. <laughs> As the two of you settle in the sand, waves lapping on it. I have to say, say, I didn't expect the girl next door to be so... You didn't know who she was. She was another girl ten minutes ago. I don't know why I pointed over there. She's not over there. She's gone. Hey, they're the ones who decided the girl next door. I had no... I'm pretty sure that's what you said. I need to start writing this down. Didn't I make her say that? Yeah, I know what that feels like. Oh, intriguing. You do? Adam sheepishly rubs the back of his neck. You consider him carefully. Wait a second, he's like the producer. Oh, what are we saying? You must be the boy next door from last season. I knew you looked familiar. Guilty as charged. Which is why I can say from experience that you better watch your back. That role did not go well for me. I'll be careful. And yet, here you are, darling, on the beach with a complete stranger. You nudge Adam with your shoulder. Being real TV does not make him safe. Stranger danger. <sighs> so why are you here if you're on the shows last season? They bring back past contestants. Oh, it's like RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, okay, I get the analogy now. It's much better. They bring back past contestants for all sorts of reasons, like hosting competitions, talking about our experience on the show. Is he like the Shangela? That would be exciting. I'd like that. It's good for ratings too. The audience feel a connection to them. Me? Makes sense, but I have another question for you. Tell me. Self, 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 Jamie. Why did you sign up for AMA? I think I have a chance of winning. Why did you sign up? Let's be a little bit more interested other people, dear. When I auditioned, I was a total romantic. Yeah, you look like it. Taking girls off to secret places where you could do all sorts to them and not tell anyone. And there's no witnesses. That's where the word. Hoping I'd make real connection with other contestants and maybe even find a partner. Plus, I knew it gave me the opportunity to travel to places and meet people I'd otherwise never get a chance. But I was so naive back then. Apparently 12 months ago. Adam shakes himself and looks you in the eye. I was going to say looks himself in the eye. I was like, that's a trick. Look, if you want a real tip, don't listen to your producer. Jen, but she seems so harmless. Yeah, they all seem that way. But they're just out looking for the show. They want good ratings, not happy contestants. That is reality TV. How do I know I can trust your voice? Mm, yeah, let's do that. He smirks. Now you're getting it. Maybe you can win this thing. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm with you. Don't trust anyone, even him. You smile up at him, making feeling better despite the chaos of the day. Thanks. I'm going to leave my head on his shoulder. The two of you are quiet for a long moment with the waves crash to the shore. Finally, Adam checks the time. I should probably get you back. He helps you to your feet. There's one thing I want to do first. Yeah, we're not kissing him yet, dear. You kick up the water your feet, splashing Adam. Hey! Oh, he's got an orange. He retaliates and you dash away to avoid getting wet. Can't catch me? Well, the security guard couldn't, so I'm safe bet. Is that a challenge? You shout and laugh as he chases you through the waves until finally, gotcha. 
Adam's strong arms encircle your waist. No fair! And now you must pay. That sounds really frigging sinister. Adam plunges you into the ocean with you in tow. Adam! A moment later, the two of you emerge soaked and laughing. And nobody's dead, so that's a bonus. Okay, we've really got to get you back now. And he slips his shirt back on, even though she's soaking. Lead the way. He had to take a shirt. Maybe that was why he likes semi-drowning girls. You and Adam walk to the beach house as Jen steps out of the office. Sorry for the way, Jamie. Our producers are having a cow. It's a very 90s race. <laughs> Don't have a cow, dude. About <laughs> the last minute replacement. But I finally got your contract together. There's no legal team on set at all, but I managed it because I'm magical. I'll be right there. See, what did I tell you? Right on time. You grin. Up. She likes grinning. That's my grin. So will I see you again? Something tells me you'll be sick of me soon enough. Adam gives you a salute. What's with the gestures? Finger guns, salutes. Are we in the military? See you around, Jamie. You went a bit cowboy then. I don't know how I feel about that. I apologise. See you. You smile to yourself as you make your way over to Jen. Jen stops short at the sight of your wet clothes. Why are you? You know what? Doesn't matter. You have to go through her makeup anyway. And apparently clean clothing. Here. Jen hands you the contract and a pen. Sign this and we've got to hurry. It's almost time to start filming. Sign your name. That wasn't complicated. I was actually going to... I was ready to sign it. You follow Jen through the foyer. So we're headed to hair and makeup first. We run to the contestants along the way. Hang on. Are they going to have like hair and makeup? That is not how it works on Big Brother. This is your first time meeting them, which means you start building relationships with them. Again, it's like The Sims and RuPaul's Drag Race. Already? But the cameras aren't rolling. <laughs> Yes, because you only have to be friends with these people for 10 weeks when there's cameras filming. Jamie, the game starts as soon as you stepped on set. Now it's like the Hunger Games. Just then you hear a shout at the top of the stairs. Is it a woohoo again? Oh my God, it's, it's Tally Ho! Best entrance ever! You watch as well. Oh, well, she's my favourite. Can't I be her? She sounds less of a dork. You watch as one of the contestants slides down the ballot in a cocktail dress. She dumps off the stairs at the bottom and turns to you with a grin. I like her. Hi, you must be the new presence I sensed. Jamie, this is Tegan, our dreamer. Jamie is taking Whitney's spot. Tegan wraps you in a big hug. My newest friend. I can tell her aurals will dance together. I'm feeling you. I don't do aurals. Well, we do, Jamie, so buckle up. I know you'll know it's a tango. See, we're kindred spirits already. Tegan likes what you said, because I said it, because I think Jamie's a jerk. The icon next to a character's name shows you how they feel for now. Over the time, behaviour will change. Build alliances, make enemies, find romance, a choice is yours. I think if I leave this to Jen, she's got no hope. This woman needs me. Not to cut this short, we need to get Jamie to hair and makeup. Bye, Jamie. Family name, compare natal charts. What's a natal chart? Google's natal chart. As you follow Jen through the beach house, you spot another contestant showing off. It's Wally from The Flash! <laughs> when you spend countless days and nights saving people from five alarm fires. I don't even know what that is. It's easy to build muscle. And also lean protein. It's very important. Um, wow, I'm glad rescuing from danger is such a good workout for you. Just another perk of being fearless. That's Bianca, the swimsuit model, and Zeke, the hero. The hero? My question exactly. He's a firefighter and lucky for us, he really enjoys getting into character. Not very reality TV-ish then. Zeke wraps his arms around Bianca's waist and pulls her close. They're very touchy-feely here. They've just met Lordy. Hey, if you and me on your fancy photo shoots, I bet we'd really burn it up. Something would burn. Oh. I'm, I'm really not gelling with Jamie. Hey, you're getting your hands in there, Zeke, or we'd burn it up as a threesome. I think we're going to have to... Oh, it's Zeke, not Jake. Zeke pulls back and glares at you. Oh, no. What if the Flash doesn't like me? Who the hell are you? Well, I was stopping you um, grab a woman without her permission, mate. Actually, what I was doing... Consent is sexy. Behind you, see Bianca Mouth. Thank you. See? Does it make you a nice pan, Zeke? Even if you're a fireman, it's say yes or not at all. This is Jamie, our girl next door. What happened to what's her name? She was smoking. He is a jerk. Her name was Whitney and she had to leave for personal reasons. Bianca raises an eyebrow at you. Can I do that? No. <laughs> Please tell me you're not wearing that tonight. 
I didn't think I was going to on TV when I got dressed this morning. We're on our way to hair and makeup right now to make sure Jane looks perfect for her first confessional. Make sure both ready to start filming in an hour. I kind of one of my contestants going home this first this season. What do they get? Don't worry, Jane, we got you. Jane rolls her eyes and leads you down the hall. Do, 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 do. Finally. So how far was that? You arrive at hair and makeup. The room is overrun with contestants and stylists putting the finishing touches on their opening night looks. Normally, if professionals help with all this, but since Whitney's time stop was two hours ago, you're stuck with me. Stuck with you? It's a good thing I'm naturally hot. Whoa! That's okay, I like your style. I think I'm too nice. Jen flashed you a quick smile. She tucks a strand of hair behind her ear. Thanks. I know I'm not Hollywood glamorous, but I do know how to make you like a superstar. Explain to me how production and TV editing skills make her a makeup artist. Okay, Jen quickly gets to work. Let's hope so. So what did you mean earlier talking about one of your contestants going home first? I was wondering that. The other producers and I split you into groups, but I don't worry. But don't worry. You don't have to work with my contestants or anything. I'll be guiding you through the season to get the best storylines or episodes out of you and the others. So you'll be producing me. Exactly. Of the people you met, Bianca, Zeke and Derek are all under my care. And Jen, just the contestant in the chair next to you. It looks like we're on the same team. Oh, hey, Derek. There. I said, I'm okay with being flirty right now. Okay. I hope we get to spend lots of time together. See, why would she be? She's just a threesome to the the grabby, handsy, overtly inappropriate fireman, but the polite, smiley man she starts getting snarky with. Dude! Sure, we can make that happen. Derek, you're up for confessional. Piper said she's taken over my intro interviews while I get Jamie ready. Why don't you tell me I did not want to keep Piper waiting? Derek rushes towards the door, but he stops to wave. It's a natural bodily gesture. It's the first one we've had from a man. Hooray! See you out there, Jamie. He didn't gun flicker at all. You nod as Jen runs a makeup brush along your cheeks. No primer? Foundation? Doesn't know that much. So what's the deal with... Everyone flirting with me non-stop. All right! Um... Derek, I like Derek. We're going to talk to him. He's available or... I'm glad you brought that up. Jen puts down the brush to look you in the eye. It's time to give you some tough producer love. If you want to win this game, you've got to keep your eye on the prize. You can flirt the contestants. In fact, the more the better. But do not fall for anyone. There's nothing more ineligible than someone that's taken. So get them to fall for me without falling for them. Consider it done. I don't think she's that smart. Now, that's out of the way. It's time to make the perfect outfit to make a good first impression. So what was I trying on earlier then? Oh my God. Jen digs the racks to close until... Ta-da! God, I'm loving these exclamations. Ta-da, woohoo, yee-haw. We're just we're feeling it. Premium outfits provide major relationship boost. Be sure to dress to impress. Let me try it on. I don't like that. My girl next door. Right, so... I'm saying it. Plus, I'm fairly sure that dress was worn by somebody else in the opening credits. I think I'm more comfortable with this, if that's okay. No worries. You just have to find other ways to make a good impression. <laughs> well, Jen and I are clearly not BFFs anymore. Easy. I saw my personality again. Jamie, love. No. You're getting the hang of this. Clearly, I'm not. Jen, if it's finishing touch to your hair. And you're ready. I'm way over my head. Could we quit? No, it's not. Let's do this. That's what I'd like to hear. Signed a contract and queued up. Next, Jen leads you to a soundproof room with a couch and a camera. Welcome to your first confessional. Well, I'm going to say what is a confessional. You said you didn't see last season, so... This is what we can do contestant interviews. I some questions and the editing staff will cut your answers together with footage from the night to make the episode. We'll do some interviews for the big events and some after and we get a bit of everything. It's like the Kardashians now again. Okay, and okay, again, also drag race. Um, Jen takes her place next to the camera. Now remember, out there is where your contestant to fall for you. But in here is where you get America to fall for you. Let's see what she did there. But if the other contestants are the ones who vote for eliminations, why does it matter if Americans like me? That's a very good question. Ow. That actually made me hurt. The viewers get a say in what goes on to the audience vote. Oh, oh, 
wasn't saying that. Every week, they'll have a way to contribute to the game with giving them immunity or force wear a silly costume. <laughs> Regardless, you want them on your side. I like America on my side too. Got it. Now, America likes a strong personality. The most popular are the sweethearts, the villains and the flirts. Each type of attitude has its pros and cons and it's up to you to decide what contestant you'll be. Just remember, the attitude you choose now could have lasting consequences on the game. Oh, my God. Confessional interviews that you build the reputation. Do you want to be the villain, the sweetheart, or the flirt? I think I want to be the sweetheart. Let's get started. Jen turns the camera and smiles. First question. What makes you America's most eligible? I'm going to be the sweetheart. So calling them all uggos isn't maybe going to be the best start. I'm not sure I am. There's so many wonderful men and women. I feel lucky to be counted among them. And I'm just here from one place in a donkey sanctuary. She, didn't she just, she's, oh, Jen gives you a thumbs up. Good times. That was very well rehearsed. Next question. What's it like knowing you're going to be, you're the underdog in this competition? They think I'm the underdog. Who thinks you're the underdog? You've just started. If they underestimate me, I'll make them pay. That's my favourite position. <laughs> America loves an underdog. It's a true story, and I'm not American. America's history is full of Davis defeating Goliath. Not American. Maybe if I work hard in the season, I'll be one of them. I'm a David or a Goliath. All right, we have time for one more question. What's your take on love? <laughs> Sexy as hell. <laughs> Made up by Corbett Uni. We're the sweetheart, aren't we? So we've got to... I'm going to play another one. These nasty. These are hilarious. Whether romantic, platonic or familial. Love is awesome. And it's all around as well. It's so nice. You pause and look around the room, clearly looking for love. As if to check for eavesdroppers, you drop your voice to a whisper. It's actually why I'm here this season. I know a lot of naysayers. She loves Alexa and her are good on the word of the day. Claim I can't, you can't fall love on TV, but I believe in this process and I'm ready to open my heart. That was perfect. You're a natural sweetheart, Jamie. I feel like we're going to be friends for... I think she's going to stab me in the back at some point. Are you sure it wasn't over the top? Okay, there's no such thing as two of the top of TV. You're right there, dude. Just then, Jen's walking. Yay, we're a sweetheart. Hello, with Jen. Where are you? We're starting filming. That's the producer. We better get out there. Run, change scene. Ooh, they're nice. This goes on. Ooh, you join the contestants outside on stage. Finally. Sorry, Piper. <laughs> I promise I'll have my accents down. You hurry to take the spot between Tegan and Bianca. Because someone didn't get in the moment. This is a formal event. It must be a play to stand out. I don't like him. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm wearing this dress. That's odd. Aren't there the 11 contestants? There's only 10 of us right now. You look, I know what's going to happen. You look around the stage, the unfamiliar faces. Maybe there's another last minute addition like me. Well, I don't think many contestants get, I quit. Attention people, we only have five hours of hard night for film. Hard night? That means we would get all the shots before the sun comes up. We done a piece of last season, right Carson? Right. <laughs> Let's get to move on. Few contestants snickers, Carson jumps in front of the camera. Welcome to a brand new season of America's Most Eligible. I feel like that should be his voice because he looks really sexy and he's got a really weird voice. The live audience cheers and claps. Woo! Oh, suntan girl's there. Oh, and also comic book nerd. Oh, hi, dude. Go, Jamie. I'm your host, Carson. Tonight, our contestants... See, now I'm going to talk like, be like Carson Cressy and I can't do that voice. Tonight, our contestants will embark on a 10-week journey to be crowned the most eligible date in America. After a set of challenges and dates, romances and heartbreaks, only one will be left standing. Are they going to die? Carson dramatically turns to face camera too. I don't have another camera. But, but, in America's most eligible, we have a twist before we even meet the new cast. <gasps> a twist already? I swear if we have to team again, Drag Race didn't work season one All-Stars. They did that two seasons ago. I doubt they used the same trick so soon. Truth wouldn't redo it. As 
As you at home know, we've been tallying the audience vote for our pa- favourite past housemate and we have a winner. Contestants, say hello to your final competitor, last season's Adam. What a surprise. I saw that coming. Adam? A silhouette figure emerged in the house and walks the stage. Oh, let's go crazy. From the patio, Adam catches your eye and smiles. You blush as you remember your afternoon on the beach. Adam now likes you. Did he not before? Dot, dot, dot. Adam shakes the host's outstretched hand. <laughs> Hi, Carson, it's good to be back. <laughs> Ooh, America's most eligible. <gasps> Ooh. Chapter one complete. Wow, okay. That was, that was so long, I can't believe how long that was. So, that's it for that one. We'll be back soon with episode chapter two to see what's going on. I feel like it's going to be super predictable. I feel like Zeke's going to really irritate me. Um, I'm really looking for some really good exclamations. It's like, woo! And I think I'm going to go with howdy as well. But that is all for me. Thank you so much for stopping by today. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys!